Yo, what's up with it? It's your boy Nooney. It's Leo in the third house, and we back with another week. Yo, what's up with it? This is your boy Nooney, and it's Leo in the third house, back with another reading. This is going to be another pick a card reading. We're going to be asking the question How are women currently feeling about you? Right? This is just, uh, you know, the other part to how are men currently feeling about you? Well, I got to make sure we be fair to my peoples, all right? Um, I'm probably going to have another pick a card come right after this, too. Um, I got another topic I was kind of curious about. So, we'll see what that do, all right? See, I got my pink on. Feeling good. Um, I don't really have much to say today. I think I did it all. But thank you to all those people who be liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, getting involved. Thanks to those people who be trusting me along the journey. Thank you very much. Always appreciate you. Um, not too much today. Not too much. I've been taking a little break, so I've just been like cool. I've been seeing a lot of things coming into play and watching how it all plays out and gaining more confidence with the things that I do. You know what I mean? In general, just in life in general, you know how... Sometimes you're like when you're starting something new, you're like, am I really good at that? Am I doing it right? There's always that little in-between feeling. So yeah, I'm like getting into like a structure, routine, pattern with some things in my life. And I like that. It's growth. You guys are getting to see it in me. Thank you for really being here. That's always like a joy. You know what I mean? It's like being internet cousins and brothers and sisters and all that stuff. You know what I mean? It's like... It's like watching each other grow through screens sometimes. Anyway, also, uh, I'm going to go live again soon. Maybe today. I don't know. I got to pick my daughter up. So maybe today. Maybe today. We'll see how it all plays out. All right. Just going with the flow, baby. All right. So anyway, uh, we got four piles here, okay? I'm going to take a look at these. Uh, there's going to be a close-up, like a closer picture. I'm going to show you an image. All right, like I'm going to cut to it. All right, and then there's going to be the timestamps. Like a little, it's going to be like a little arrow thing. You just little boop, push it. It's going to be like, yo, what's up with it? And you just scroll up, and you can pick your piles. Right, this will be pile one. This will be pile two. This will be pile three. This will be pile four. And remember, if you need the close up, it's coming right after this. All right. Boom, pile one. So, pile one. How are women currently feeling about you? Uh, okay, cut off first. I was about to say, oh, I don't get that. That doesn't make any sense. Like, how is there a new start coming? Okay, so how are women feeling, feeling uh, currently feeling about you? That's how they're feeling about you. That right there. Because the first thing out was song in reverse, right? And song in reverse is, uh, I think it's about like not speaking. Uh, any other deck, I know that singing in general in reverse is always about not speaking, not using your voice, or maybe even being a little bit... Um, like they don't trust in it because it has uh, we have scared beetles, so they don't trust in their voice around you. They don't trust in maybe their opinions, their thoughts, their ideas, because we got the door. And door is about like the ideas that they have or thoughts or, or like creative abilities. I feel like it's a bunch of stuff because you know see how I'm like I'm rambling really fast. So like maybe women get nervous around you. Like there's an energy of feeling like there's opportunities and then feeling like they missing them. All right, so this could be people that are like in your friend group or in like your community because it says community here. So this could be like work. Usually, like, I mean, like, when I say work, it has, you have to work for, like, a big organization. So, maybe, like, if you, even if you work for, like, a McDonald's or Wendy's or whatever, that's a big organization. So, something like that. Like, they work for something. It could be, like, a gym. If your gym is, like, a, a national chain or a large chain, large corporation or something like that. Because it, it has memberships and all that stuff and it's networking and there's a lot of people around. So, it could be, like, friends that you've been with. Let me give you the signs that you could be or the women that could be around you. So, it could be Aquarius. could be Libra. We got two Libra, three Libras. Uh, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a Pisces, could be a Sagittarius, or it could be a Pisces. This could be you, or this could be the people that are around you, all right? But they do feel like there's a lucky start here, so they feel like there's opportunities, like you're an easygoing type of person. Um, you're, they feel like you're giving back, like you're sharing, or like you're like there's a partnership desire here, all right? Women have like a partnership desire with you, all right? They think about networking with you, and it says, 
affirmation manifest divine times to speak uh, so continue to speak to them and don't give up okay so women don't want to give up but they don't really okay so it's like they don't believe in themselves around you it's like they don't believe in themselves around you but they do want to be fair with you but there's also energy of them feeling like maybe they missed out or they're missing signs clues from you that maybe you want to be friends or that you want to be connected to them so they're, they're, they feel, how oh, are they feeling? What? They feel like you're, uh, okay, so they feel like you're very protective, like a, either like a mama bear or papa bear. You know, they feel like you're very protective. And that you see things that other people don't see. They see you as being very enlightened, all right? Like having some type of spiritual knowledge or, you know, spiritual oversight, overtaking, like, you know, and they may not call it spiritual. They just may think that you have better decision making than most you know, I mean, that you're very clear, you're very fair, you're, you have a good integrity. You know, they see you as that type of person, like very fair, very in, integral, you know what I mean? Like a, like a pillar in the society because you got the Queen of Pentacles with the Justice and they're both upright. So that's like, you know, someone who's very responsible, someone who's very honest, someone who's very direct, someone who doesn't leave things to the imagination, you know what I mean? Someone who's, uh, it could be self-indulgent too because sometimes the Queen of Pentacles can be somebody who's selfish or a little bit superficial in terms of like, um, whether something makes money or makes something practical because a lot of earth energy, you know, what I mean, it's not a lot of earth energy, but because of that earth energy, there's an energy of needing something to for something or needing something to, you know, it's like it needs something to make it up something. So it's like I can't it's like we don't want to waste the time energy and it's not going to produce anything of value. So you kind of give off that vibe like, you know what to invest in, you know where to put your time and energy. All right, because the Seven of Cups is here in reverse, and that's usually not being uh, caught up in facade. Sometimes it could be about falling into temptation. So they may have that vibe of wanting to fall into temptation with you, or they may feel like you may be into temptation because we got Pisces energy here, which can be about, you know, uh, drugs, you know, lack of boundaries. So they may feel like you may fall into temptation, but I feel like they feel like you're judged. Like, the, I don't know. So I feel like women are currently feeling like there's like a need for like forgiveness because like, Judgment is about like giving forgiveness, seeing this from a higher spiritual position and then taking some type of action on it. That's having you, that's been inspired. That's been spiritually inspired. So that's kind of like how they feel about you. They feel like there's like a, a need to either move like by being spiritually inspired or like a spiritual connection or like, or like, it's kind of like. I don't know, like you, maybe like your God sent to them as a friend, as a lover, as whoever, because it's like a partnership, 11th house is here. So they feel like, because, you know, they also feel like you, you give them different perspectives. So these are like people who are trying to find their way or women who are trying to find like new opportunities, because that's what it is. Like they see you as a new opportunity and they see you as very abundant or very like giving, giving hope, hopeful, inspiring, um, you know, and because it's Aquarius energy, it's kind of like you don't fit into the mold of what like they expect. And they feel like with you, it's always, it's like a, a brand new beginning. So how they're feeling about you is like they were like a new start, but they're afraid maybe of how to talk about it. They don't really feel like they have either the creative way or creative words to say it. You know what I mean? Um, it's like they don't feel like, so this could be like people who feel, who are like, kind of, I mean, they are spiritual because uh, they, they don't feel like their magic works though. So that's, that's the thing about it. So these people don't feel like, like the way that they would present it to you or the way that they would communicate with you um, isn't, it won't really work. I guess, to get the start that they're looking for. They kind of feel like like they're missing signs or synchronicities that you want to be cool or you want to be with them or, you know, if you're a male that you want to date them. It's kind of like that feeling. And they're trying to, like, hype themselves up or boost themselves up that you that you are into them or that you would want them or you would want that you would want to be, you know, friends with them. Because they see you as, like, this, this as, a, as a catch. Someone who can't be duped, pretty much. But they do kind of see you as someone who maybe, I guess I, I was going to say overindulge because I felt like, you know, Libra is a sign that can be very overindulgent, you know what I mean? And with uh, the hangman and the seven of cups, I would think of that as like temptation and, you know, sometimes seeing things, you know, like, you know, hallucinating a little bit or, or like drinking or like, you know, getting high or whatever, like kind of like, I'm not saying that you do, but they kind of like see you as like maybe like elevated in some sense and like, or like, I wasn't going to say inebriated, but like, like you're... I don't know, maybe you're spacey or you're out there a little bit, like the way that you commute. So you don't have to necessarily be on drugs, but they kind of see you as like either not for the shit or like, like, I don't know, like kind of like, I don't know. It's almost like both. It's almost like both. Like you're like you're like you're loopy, but 
at the same time, you're like, I'm not for the shit. So it's like I'm very loving, I'm very caring, but kind of out there. Because like the I, because like Mercury with Uranus energy always gives like futuristic ideas and non traditional ideas and ideas that can really create breakthroughs. So even if it's not like special to you, whenever you say that, whatever you say to other people, they're like, wow, that was profound. So it's kind of like that. Like, so people really trust, or women really trust your judgment. Like, I guess you have a way of making things seem a little bit more clear to them because it's like they, you can see things that other people aren't seeing traditionally. All right. And I guess to hype themselves up to be your friend or to be with you because they feel like they feel like they would need to be supportive or that they would need to be very uh, com like uh, compassionate or com I was going to say complacent. I don't know why they would want to be complacent, but <laughs> maybe that's what they, maybe that's what they feel about themselves. Like maybe that, maybe you bring that up into like recognition for them is like an energy of being complacent or being okay with what they have or where they are. So maybe like that, maybe, maybe that's why. Cause it's like, they don't feel, cause the first card out was song reverse. That automatically feels like they don't necessarily feel like they can communicate with you or communicate how they feel. You know what I mean? They don't trust their voice or they may be a little bit timid. You know, they don't really think that they can communicate a new beginning with you. They want to, they see you in flow. They feel like you're getting rewards and that you would be very beneficial because they see you as a trying and a trying is just something that can be very beneficial, something that can accelerate growth. So they, so they would see you as coming into their life and accelerating growth, all right, through like working with you. This could be like, you know, because 11th house is here. So it could be like working with you. Um, this could be like, this could be also people who are ahead of you or like a, a stage above you. They want to give back to you, you know, or you could be giving back to other people. This could be people that want to be like in your friend circle or just in your social circle. Like that's how they feel. Like they want to do that, but they feel like they missed their opportunity. Either they missed the opportunity or they're missing the, the clues to get there. You know what I mean? So these people see you as like some type of, you, maybe you could be very expansive because the trying with the community, 11th house is a large network. So you could be kind of expansive because the trying is expansive energy. It's kind of like Sagittarius energy. It's luck, Jupiter rule like, so it pretty much is Sagittarius energy. So it's kind of like that. You're giving off, they feel that about you like uh kind of like an optimism, a happiness, but it's also that easy going because a, a try makes you feel comfortable. So you make them feel comfortable and it's that friendly vibe and it's that vibe that like, yo, I want you to win. So that's how they feel. And they feel like you, you make the best judgments, you make the best calls, you know, you are stable, you are sensible, you are logical, you know what I mean? You're fair, you know what I mean? And that's, that's like, that's it. Like, and you're a protector, you know, you're a mother, a mother figure to them or a father figure to them, you know? So it's like, they kind of see you as a, a great, as a great catch here. You know, it's not, you know I mean? It's like, they, but they don't, they, they don't feel good enough almost. That's kind of the energy. It's like, they kind of don't feel good enough because like they don't trust in themselves and they're kind of timid. It's kind of like, maybe you, maybe you overpower them because, you know, trying in a new start here, which is a new moon, which is like a new, a new illumination or a new intent. You know, it's like, uh, but this is also, is it? No, it's not. But anyway, but a new moon is just a new intent, a new beginning, some type of emotional feeling. Like, okay. So it's like, you kind of like, open them up to something new emotionally that they weren't feeling. So if you're like a man, you're like the bee's knees to them. All right. If you're a woman, then you're pretty much the same thing. But in a, in a term of like, uh, you really make them feel confident and like assured within themselves, but they don't feel confident and assured within themselves on how to like convey their messages to you. So it's like, they, you know what I mean? It's like kind of like you're in the wind, but you're not, you're there and you're reliable, but like to, to obtain you or to like, like really get on your level, it's hard. So that's that's what this is all about, you know. But a lot of people see you as like forgiving. A lot of women see you as very forgiving, very understanding. You know what I mean? And however you handle the situation, they always consider it as fair. You know what I mean? So yeah. Here's your advice though: blessings, love, light, blessings. Through this card, you are being showered with angelic light. Accept the blessings about to come your way, and know that you deserve to be and have all your heart's desires. You are being lovingly guided along a golden path, a magical journey through which you shall discover your true essence, the infinite and eternal you. Congratulations. So let me give you signs one more time. We have Aquarius, Libra, 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 Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, um, Pisces, Sagittarius. All right. So pile one, that was your reading. <laughs> Whoa. Power one. That was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nooney and this Leo in the third house. Boom. Power two.
So, pile two. How are women currently feeling about you? Like you're a gift. That they want to give you stuff? Yep, they want to give you stuff. All right. Oh, okay. And it says, never confuse what you're offered with what you are worth. That's how they feel about you. They feel like you should never take less than what you're worth. All right. These are women who want to give you stuff. All right. These are women who are afraid to take the lead, though. Right. Okay. Um, so they may feel like you. Oh, no. They feel like you're afraid to take the lead. Oh, okay. So they want you to step up and take the lead. All right. These can be people with uh, some type of gifts, gifts, talents, abilities. All right. They could be very go getterish. That's how they feel about you. They feel like you're very go getterish and that you have a plan, that you're very wise or very methodical. All right. They feel like you're a person who can make um, difficult situations easier. Like you can make simplistic, you make simplicity of hard situations. Let me give you signs real quick. So you could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Leo's Aries, Sagittarius. I got Leo again. I got Leo here again. And I have Gemini. So you could be one of these signs. Or this could be the people that are, the women that are around you. All right. Um, they feel like you're very communicative, very creative. All right. They could feel like you're a bit prideful or like you care about how other people see you. Like you may care about how other people see you because they want you to they, they want you to take the lead. But they feel like you care how other people see you or you care about how uh, I guess how it's perceived when you go after the things you desire, you know, or there's also a need of sometimes of, of um, you know, it's just like they feel like you care about what other people think. You know, what I mean, it's kind of that type of energy. But they feel like uh, you're very relationship friendly. You're very easy to get along with. You have like some type of talent or gift, you know, cause sex tiles here. So they feel like you have talents, gifts, or you're very cooperative, very easy to get along with, um, but you can be very prideful. Um, you are very impulsive or very go-getterish. You're a person who gets things done. Like you have a lot of masculine energy. So they do feel like you have a lot of masculine energy, but they feel like you're afraid to take the lead or like maybe they feel like you're, I don't know, almost like you're not, Maybe like you're unbothered. You know what I mean? It's like you're not pressed to maybe move forward with relationships or friendships. It's like, mm. you know, because like you got a lot of things going on. So they want to offer you something. They want to give you something because they feel like you got a lot of irons in the fire. So this could be like either like a lot of other relationships or this could be like a lot of things going on because they see you as being very creative. So they feel like you got a lot of things going on. You know, you're moving around, you're getting it done. They see you as very passionate, not passionate, like feisty. You know what I mean? Like, very, yeah, yeah very feisty. Because, like, this. Like, I'm looking at the, the Tasmanian devil. It looks very feisty. Like, you don't want to play with that. I don't, I don't want that. You know what I mean? They see it's very spiritual and enlightened, too, though. Like, because the koala is looking, like, very wise and very intuitive. You know? So, I think that's how they feel about you. And they feel like you know your value. And that you're very feisty. Or that you're very, you know, I don't know. Not nitpicky, but, like. You know, maybe they feel like you procrastinate a little bit or like, I don't know. It's like you make them not want to like, come, I don't know. It's like you kind of like hold them back or they feel like, cause it feels like, ah, I can't be like, I can't, I can't like act how I want to act with you. That's how it feels like. It feels like I can't act how I want to act with you. You know, and maybe it's like, you know, they're maybe you have boundaries or like, or maybe they just don't feel like, cause it's like, they feel like they can't take control or they feel like they want you to take control. So it's one of those two things. All right. And they feel like you like you you're a person who doesn't give anything, so you may feel like you're selfish, cause it's like never confuse what you're offered with what you what you are worth, and they're not giving anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? They have their hand out, but they're not giving anything. So maybe you always have your hand out, but you're never giving anything. Maybe it's something like that, and that doesn't have to be the case. You know what I mean? It could just be that. Maybe or maybe they just know that you know your worth. It's one of the two. Either you have your hand out, and you're not giving, or they just know that you're, uh, they feel like you're, um, you don't give, like it's something like that, or you know your worth. So it might be like that. Maybe you don't give anything. But they do feel like you're very inspiring, very helpful, very encouraging, all right? And sometimes you tend to sabotage yourself. So women feel like you, t you tend to sabotage yourself. They want to crown you though. They see you as a princess, all right? They feel like you're a princess, or they feel like you're a gift. They want to gift you stuff. They could even like be into like mermaids or something. They could think you're into mermaids. All right. I don't know. 
Maybe you like the mermaids. I don't know. That's kind of like the vibe. Uh, women are feel. Oh, what? Women are feeling like the that they need to focus on your on their well being. And their prosperity. So you feel like maybe you, you call attention to them needing to focus on their well-being. Maybe like their mental health or like their emotional. Mm, no, it's their, maybe they're emotional. But I feel more like the mental, like on their mental health. So maybe how they're seeing things. Maybe they, they feel like they're in crisis or women feel like you're in crisis. I think they feel like you're holding on to things that you've gotten over. Like you, maybe you hold on to like grudges and that, that's how you protect your well-being. Because they feel like you just work. Because you got Queen of Pentacles here with the Knight of, uh, Knight of Wands, which is the action-driven, working type of person. So you feel like you just work, and you travel, and you move, and you, you're very like charismatic and very outgoing, and you're, but you're never there long, but you are there long. So you feel like maybe you're, you're like the first person at work and the last person gone or something like that. Or maybe like, like you're, maybe you're a salesperson. Because I don't think a Knight of Wands with a Queen of Wands, I mean, Queen of Pentacles could be like a salesperson. You know, they're, they're very focused on the back, focused on the money. Focus on the next adventure. Focus on the next destination, next goal. So they could feel like you're like focused on the next adventure, next goal. They could see you as a player too. You know, with options. You know, what I mean, like always on the go, always on the move. Focused on money. You know, what I mean, focus on stability. Focus on something stable. You know what I mean? But they feel like, like, mm, like it might be our, they they had like they maybe need to protect their well being, or like you need to protect your well being because maybe you're always on the move, always on the go. You know what I mean? Like always doing something. You know, but it all, or it could be like maybe they feel betrayed or like stabbed in the back, like down by you. Like they could feel like that, like let down by you maybe. I don't know, because they want to have fun with you because we got the sun here. So they feel like, they either feel like you're very exuberant, very fun, very in, enlightened or very joyful, like lightheartedness. And very, yeah, with the, with, the, uh, with the Knight of Wands, yeah, you would definitely be that. And they kind of feel like you always have a plan. So they feel like you're very smart and very analytical and very spiritual and very charismatic and very driven, ambitious, yet focused on the money, focused on the bag, secure within yourself, stable, reliable, consistent, and fun. They think you got a lot of energy. They feel like you have a lot of energy because I'm talking fast. So you have a lot of energy. You must get things done. You must talk really fast, get things and like make things happen. Because it's like you're communicative, so they feel like you talk really well. And with the Knight of Wands, he's a very good talker. He's a smooth talker. But we know he's on some bullshit, but it's okay. He may, he may not always be on some bullshit. And that's the, that's the kind of vibe. It's like women feel like maybe you're on some bullshit today, maybe you're not. Because like the Ten of Pen the Ten of Wands, I mean, Ten of Swords is here, but it's in reverse. So it's kind of like, like you know, maybe like, like it's not like they don't want you to around, but it's kind of like, like what is, what is she on? What is he on? Like, you know, today. What are they on today? You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. Like, what are they on today? You know what I mean? But you're very helpful, very encouraging, very inspiring. You know what I mean? But you are egoic. So it's kind of like, you know, a mixed bag with you. And that's and that's how women feel. Like, they don't know what's going to happen. And they don't know if... So that's kind of like the vibe. Like, they don't know if they should take the lead or if you want to take the lead. But they don't know if you're taking the lead. So it's kind of like, you know what I mean? Like a limbo, but it's not. Because they feel like you have a plan. So... So I don't know. Maybe they like this. These women like to be confused or something. Like they like that drama. I think that's what it is. I think they. I think they. They see you as drama. You know what I mean? Some type of like you know unrest. Like you make them like not be able to chill or relax. You know, but they want. But they want to relax. So it's like they don't know what version of you going to going to get. Like are you going to relax today or are you going to cause like some type of strife? You know, or some are you going to let me down, disappoint me? You know. We know you're going to be passionate about whatever it is and very fun and very outgoing, but like how, like how that's really, that's really it. That's, that's really it. Like people, women don't really know what's going to happen. They feel like either, you know, your gifts or you're selfish. They think, you know, like, you know what you offer or you're selfish. It's one of those things. All right. And they feel like you're very good, very solution based. So you always have a, a problem. Like you always know how to fix a problem and you always have a bunch of things going on. So they may either feel like you have a bunch of options and that people want to give you stuff or they always feel like you, uh, they, like, they, feel, they know you have creative talents and abilities. So they feel like you always either have a bunch of like things going on at one time, like a bunch of different options, avenues that you're going after to get money because the uh, Knight of Wands is someone who doesn't stay in one place too long. So they're moving around to get their money. All right. And at the same time, the, uh, the Athens here is a person who's very creative, very uh, spoken. They know how to use their words and their mental abilities. They can also help other people out with it, but sometimes they can tend to be very crafty. So women feel like you are very slick, very crafty, you know, and they don't really know who they're going to deal with, like who, who you will be today. And that's a big thing. All right. 
Um, they do feel like you're, it says, is someone with a huge ego giving problems or creating, yeah, they feel like you have a huge ego, like a gorilla, like you're, like they don't know what is going to happen. That's really it. Like, that's it. Wow. They don't know what's going to happen with you. Like, they don't know. You might fly off the handle. You might say something out, out, outrageous. It's kind of like that. It's like, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you give off a nurturing vibe, a stable vibe, a reliable vibe, a consistent, you know what I mean? A motherly, uh, make a dollar stretch. I can make things happen. I'm entrepreneurial. I'm enterprising. You know, and I can do this on my own. I'm self-sufficient and you work hard and that's how they see you. They like, you know, they, so that's like, they see you as like a boss. I give you that. They give you, they see you as a boss, but they don't, they feel like you're not really taking lead or that they can't take the lead. So it's, it's one of those two. It's like that. It's like either you, they feel like you're not taking the lead or that you, that they can't take the lead. So it's kind of like they can't be in charge. So maybe this is like relationships. People who want to be your friends or want to be your lovers are feeling like they can't be, um, like there's no there's no hierarchy there's no leader in this relationship you know what i mean that's how they feel like there's no leader you're very masculine very dominant very dominant very go-getterish you know very assertive but very helpful very encouraging like you get shit done and that's the truth you get shit done in their book and people want to gift you stuff women want to gift you stuff you know that's how they feel about you they feel like you're very vital or very vitalic like you know very lively very outgoing joyful like you're a good time but they don't know if every time you come like like it can turn to sh like in to su it can turn from rain i mean from sunshine to rain really quick like this and that's how they feel about you currently that's how they're feeling about you all right but there is a desire to want to be like in a, re a relationship with you so these people must like drama they must like that type of i don't know i don't know they must like that i don't know you must rile them up really nice and they like that Here's your uh, advice, though. Breakthrough. How many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? Is it time to break free of these false beliefs? Oh, it is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right. And then we have action. Drop all fear and just do it. You have the power to create and be whatever you truly want. Look inside your heart and take positive action in those things that bring you closer to achieving your desired goals. Nothing can stop you except your own fears. This card is positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new and exciting venture. So let's go over signs one more time. We have Gemini, Leo, Leo, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right. So, pile two. That was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy, Noonie, and this Leo in the third house. Boom. Pile three. So, pile three. How are women currently feeling about you? I always like to see the fifth house, especially when it has to do with, uh, oh, in fulfillment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is what I thought it was. When I see fifth house, I always be like, mm, this is going somewhere. I know where this is going because this has the heart. It has a little heart here, so I'm always like, mm, this is going somewhere. I know where this is going. Oh. Okay. So if you are a male or you date women, they see you as uh, sexually attractive. They would like to date you. They have their eyes on you for entertainment, joy, passion, all that stuff. Like they want to do that. Um, but they don't feel, so how they feel about you, either they feel that you're um, maybe afraid of confrontation or challenges, like you don't like to be challenged, or they're afraid of the challenge. All right. They feel like you're confident, though, and they feel like you're very peaceful, but they feel like you don't have any clear intentions. You just like to be very playful, like, you know, like you're maybe you're a book that they need to really have to, like, discover or really like to have to get to know because they feel like you're selfish. You know, what I mean, like they feel like you hold in, you, you hold in a lot. So either they feel like you don't maybe I don't know. I feel like maybe they feel like you're maybe strategic or like they need to be strategic. You know what I mean? To get the fulfillment that they're looking for. Because these women feel like they need to fight to prove something. 
Or they feel like you're a fighter. They feel like you have strong beliefs and you'll fight and defend those. All right, like you're very confident, very self-assured. Did I give you signs? Oh, okay, I don't think I did. The signs are uh, Sagittarius, Leo, Leo, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, the fixed signs, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, Taurus, and, Aqu and uh, Leo. And then we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius again, and we have Leo. So we have a whole lot of Leo here. So women feel, all right, like you have a lot of confidence, like a self-assurity, all right? And then we have the strength upright, too. So they feel like you're very good with getting what you want. Like you may overpower people or they feel like you're very persuasive because the Knight of Wands is here too and he's upright. I mean, the Page of Wands is here. So he's very persuasive, right? So they feel like you're very persuasive, very playful. We even have that here, sandpaper. So you're pre you're like a very good time. Like you're exciting, all right? And you, and you don't like confrontation. You don't like trouble. You don't want drama. Mm -mm. We're here for a good time and no, not a long time maybe. That's kind of how it feels like you you don't like the the page of wands. I remember always thinking about the page of wands as being a person who's like a free spirit, but it's also a person who's not really grounded. So it's like while they present you with stuff and opportunities and adventures and all that, it's not really grounded in anything practical. It's just excitement. You know what I mean? I'm here for like a short term. I mean, not a long time. I'm here for fun. That's how women feel about you. Like like you're just here for fun. Let's go out to go. Let's go out to eat and drink. Or let's let's go out to have fun. Let's date. Let's you know snuggle in like peace because you get peace too so i feel like they want to like enjoy time with you but like in a playful way all right and they're trying to avoid conflict either they feel like you're trying to avoid conflict or they want to avoid uh, avoid conflict but they do want to like get to know you more because we got the why here in reverse so they're not quite sure why like there's no clear intentions other than to be playful other than to enjoy themselves other than to go out and like you know do whatever because the fifth house is about like joy fun love but it's like short term short-term stuff so like they would like call you on the weekends or call you when they see you this would be like your one night stands type of things like that's how women feel about you like a one night type of stand you're very attractive very confident very outgoing very charismatic um you also know your place in the world so you're like you know because the world is here and for me that was like when i it just put me back to when i was younger when i first was reading this with the world and it made me think about when i first learned about the definition of the world like feeling at home within yourself but it's about uh, learning a pattern, learning a growth, like they've seen you grow. So women feel like you're very either mature or you have good boundaries or they feel like you found your place in the world and now you're exploring. So it could be like you're having new, these could be like new people too. This could be like new women or this could be like new friends. Cause that's what they feel like. They feel like you're always getting new opportunities, new friends, new chances. Like you're exploring, you're adventurous, you know, you're even a little bit inspiring, but you don't really share a lot. You don't feel like you share a lot, but they also feel like you may be a little bit insecure in some sense. All right. And this, the, the queen of pentacles looks a little chubby. So maybe that's that. Maybe they feel like you're a little insecure about your wheat. All right. They, you know what I mean? And I, and I just like noticed it when I looked at it. Cause I was like, well, what would you be insecure about? And then, and the queen of pentacles looks, she looks a little, just a little bit. Just not even on, for real. You notice that night? That's what it is. It's like one of those, like you serious. So it's kind of like that. Like they notice like that that little bit like oh okay so it's kind of like that but anyway they feel like you're mature because it says the older you get the less you f suffer fools gladly so they feel like you're very mature very wise and that you understand things all right someone wants to be with you and they're a good energetic match so they feel like you're a very good energetic match with them so they want to be with you in a, in a romantic way you know for some of you so if you date women they want to be with you in a romantic way now if you're not dating women they just want to have fun with you and that's still romance you know what I mean like it's like taking your home girl out to eat you know you know, they still want to take you out to eat, have fun, go to movies, enjoy music parks, you know, concerts. So they still want to do that. You know what I mean? Cause you give off a sense of being at peace within yourself, but like, uh, maybe even a little bit critical, you know what I mean? Or a little bit chenchy, like, you know, very, fr not fr I was going to say frugal, maybe a little frugal, you know, it's cause like, you know, you like, you're playful, but it's like, you don't go overboard. You know what I mean? I kind of feel like that. It's like you're very fun, but not overboardish. And they feel like they're very harmonious or very easy to get along with. Like these women will feel you, see you as a fulfillment. They feel like you're a fulfillment. You know, you emotionally make them happy. So like you're a good time. Like you're good to have around. We're glad that you came. It's that type of energy. Like, yes, you know, Susie showing up, Mike showing up. That's my boy. You know what I mean? Or, you know, whoever, whoever, you know, whoever you may be. Uh, yeah. Leonard showing up. That's my boy. You know what I mean? Whatever. You know, whatever it is. Like they, like, they'd be happy to have you around. And they feel like they feel like you talk harshly. So, you're like, you maybe you cuss or you talk very vulgar 
or like, like, and they like, they say like you, like you might cuss somebody out. Like people like your fiery nature, nature. So you can be very fiery, very passionate, but also very charismatic, very playful, very outgoing, very kiddish, jokey. You know what I mean? Like a good jokester. You know what I mean? Like you have a lot of great ideas or like, you know, very creative way of doing things. Maybe your accent is a little bit different because the page one sometimes gives me like that person who has an accent. So maybe you have like an accent, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's that type of vibe. And it says that you, oh, so women feel like either you need to make changes or they feel like that you are a wake up to them that it's time to make changes. Like you give them the vibe that it's time to grow up. So they feel like either you, it's time for you to grow up or they feel like that they're, that it's time for them to grow up. You know what I mean? It's one of those two, like you come into their life and make them feel like they need to grow up. So they do see you as a fun time, but then you remind them like, yo, I need to grow up. I need to get my life together. I need to get my life straight. Like it's something like that. Like, I, I don't know, like they have so much fun with you, but then I guess in the back of their mind, there's a feeling like I need to grow up. Cause that's what a page of wands is. He's a person who's, who doesn't grow up. He's just having a ball. He's having a fun. He makes life very lighthearted and easy to deal with. So you, they feel like you make, you know, like let's say like just like friends that work all week long. And when they get around you, you're making them laugh. You're making them, you know, you're making them tear up from from laughing so hard you're, you're giving them i don't know you're being romantic with them you know you're 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 having fun with them taking them places or you're inviting them out or invite them over to the house and things are like you know then they're having a good time it's like you see it was like enjoyment like really good time you know and and being very confident and like they feel like they've already had i feel like they've already had their eye on you you know they see you as like very aggressive or very fighty like you're ready to fight you know what I mean? But even after you've proven your point, you don't gloat or like, you don't, you know, prove like, you know, what I mean? or maybe they feel like you do, or maybe, maybe that is that. Maybe they feel like you do prove your point after, you know, you've, you've beaten them or, or after you've proven a point. But either which way it is, they feel like you're very emotionally fulfilling to them, like, or like you're very emotionally fulfilled within yourself, you know, and that's, and that's the big vibe. They just feel like you've gotten older and now you don't have to deal with a bunch of bullshit that you used to deal with. So now you're just having fun and you're very creative and, and very fertile. I don't know. Like most of the women, are like, so like I said, if you date women, they see you as like attractive sexually and they want fun time and they want to enjoy you. And if you're, you know, and they, and they want like a, a brand new cycle with you or they want an opportunity experience with you. All right. But they feel like they need to hold back or like they need to. I don't know, because like there's like a desire to have you and them be like the same person. So maybe that's that, like maybe that's what they're holding back. They're kind of like, it's almost like a, a vibe to hold back because they do want stability. So I guess that's probably why you come, like you come into their life and they want stability, but they see you as like a, like a fun time and like you're very fun, you're very charismatic, you're very easy to get along with. And so they, they, it plays on their self-worth or they feel inadequate, you know what I mean? So they see you as like a player. Yeah. Like not to take serious, but... But like, you know, but like if you're just a friend, then you're like not the friend that they see as like reliable for them or that they can count on because you do it for you only count on yourself. So they see you as like, like you're there for a good time and a fun time. But like the boundary is that they got to be independent and they got to take care of themselves. So it's like, you know, it's like that. And then like you're not you're not with the conflict or the bullshit. You know, what I mean, you're not with the games. So it's that type of thing as well. Like you're you know, what I mean, you don't want no conflict. You don't want no issues. You want things to be as simple as possible. So they, they feel like that with you. So it's kind of conflicting, but it's not. But it is. You know, but it's not. You know what I mean? So that's how women are feeling. They feel like maybe you're lonely or like you lose sleep. You know, sometimes feeling inadequate or like you stay up late because you sometimes feel inadequate. I don't know. That's how they feel. But they're saying that, that either you're making a wake-up call to make changes and that, or that you being in their life has made them have a wake-up call to make changes. And that's what they're going into. Because they feel like you've matured, right? But you've matured, but you're still very playful, very young, but selfish. All right. So, yeah. Here's your advice, though. Positive outcome. At this very moment, you are sowing the seeds of your uh, future through your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes. Whether through love, fear, or indifference, you are always creating something. So remember to keep your thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes positive, and you will create a positive outcome. All right. So let's go over signs one more time. We have Leo, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, 
uh, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Leo again. So this could be the women around you. This could be you. Or this could be like the energy that you guys are taking on. All right. So, pile three. That was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Noon, and this is Leo in the third house. Boom. Pile four. What's up? Pile four. How are women currently feeling about you right now? Disconnected from you or like you're not in your feminine energy right now? They may be feeling like you're being a bit selfish, not receptive. They feel like they were fated to meet you, though. So you could feel like you're not open to passion or to love. Um, they are trying to communicate with you. Women feel like you're very good at talking or that you're very good at giving answers, very good at providing clarity. You're very diplomatic. Um, these could be women from like your past. All right, let me give you uh, let me give you the signs that you could be or they could be. I have uh, Aquarius. I have Gemini. I have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and I have Virgo, Gemini. So it's a lot of air energy, a little bit of earth. All right, so they do see you as very smart, very analytical, very good at talking, communicating, giving clarity to people, all right, a truthful talker. They see you as a person who very much follows their instinct, but they see that you're not really open. They feel like you're not open, like you're not receptive in some way, or you're not trying to nurture something, or you're not nurturing like that. I feel like you're not really nurturing because the Queen of Swords is not really a nurturing person. There is no real nurturing water. There's no water here. We have no water signs. Just trusting in instinct, trusting in your own pull to where it is that you need to go. You know what I mean? So it's like running on fumes, but not quite. All right. This is like intuitive and creative ability. So you have it. We have the magician here, which is the usage of all the tools, but it's kind of strategic. So you may use feelings and emotions or you may use, uh, practicality or use like passion and desire to get what it is that you want that's how women are feeling about you they feel like you're very detached very it's just yeah, that's really yeah, like very detached very self-lovish like you really focus on you all right they feel like you're a manifester like you can make the world be what you would like it to be like you're a dreamer like you may dream things into reality that's what they feel about you they feel like you're very optimistic very either like a merchant it could be like a merchant or like a teacher or someone who influences people because I see that whenever I see the magician or queen of swords is someone who's a talker or someone who has a platform or someone who's like a creator of some sort they have a, a foundation to create from so that's how women are feeling about you um, they feel like you're about to break a generational curse of some sort and that you're fated to do that so either maybe with them or through you that you're fated to do that like you yourself are fated to make some type of break through some type of generational curses that were in your family. They see you as, oh, here we go, water, water element. So you could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So we do have that here. So they do see you as healing, intuitive, emotional, and nurturing. But I still do stick by what I said. It's kind of like you using it strategically. Like they see you as kind of using that as feelings, like as a, as a way of wielding it as a power. Like they feel like you'll use all your talents and gifts in a way to expand you or to move you forward in life. That's how they feel about you. Right? They feel like you're very original, though, very opinionated, um, very inventive, but like the distance, that's what it is. Like even with the three of wands, kind of like distant. And you have the nine of wands here in reverse, and that's kind of like, mm. So they kind of see you as on guard or standoffish. Like they feel like you're, and that's like this the vibe is like, they don't feel like you want to connect with them, but you are like open to like giving insight, to giving clarity, to giving information, to schooling them into stuff. You know, it's like an energy of like you getting things done, really, because we got the energy is momentum. So like you got is gaining momentum. So you're very much a person who's getting things done, always on the go. Um, they could see you as like very nurturing too, because the stork is here, and I think of that as the baby, like the baby bringer, the baby boomer. So maybe you're a little bit older, maybe a little bit more mature than than the women that are around you. Because it's like the way I'm talking is like mm, like more straight it's like it's more clear i know what i'm saying to you i'm not mismatching the words too much it's ready to the point so that's kind of like how they feel about you like ready to the point you're very intellectual but you're very tolerant too you know so the queen yeah the queen of wands i mean queen of swords is a tolerant person you know she's open to what you're going to say but it just has to be the truth you know she'll make the decision you know the final say so but 
just bring in what you're saying. So like this, you know, they could see is very helpful too because the Queen of Swords is a person who's very helpful with insight, with good information. You know, she gives little tidbits of, of things that you need and you didn't know that you need it because she has that motherly vibe because all queens have the motherly vibe. So it's like giving information that you didn't know you needed. That's how women feel about you. Like you give stuff that they didn't know that they needed. You're very much a creator. You're very much abundant or able to make things happen for yourself. So whenever you give a little piece of information, they're like, oh, thank you. You know what I mean? So it's that type of thing. All right. Um, but they are, so friends from there are like looking at maybe friends that you've been with for a long time or starting to creep up on them. So it's like feelings from a long-term friend will start creeping up on them and they will want more than a friendship. So this could be women who are in your, in your friendship group. They want to be more than friends. So if you date women, they want to be more than friends. All right. Um, and it's brave to walk away. So they, they feel like you're, you're a person who's not willing to walk away and that they would need to chase you. They feel like you're worth so much more, so they feel like they would need to chase you. That's how they feel. Better days are ahead. It could be a new home, new car, new job, or a new boo. You're the magician of your life. And that's how they feel about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. So they feel like that. They feel like you're the magician of your life. And we have the magician here. They feel like you're the magician of your life, and that you're kind of like, maybe maybe single-ish, living single life. You know what I mean? Stifled by other... Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, they feel like you feel like you're stuffed, because it says... Are you stifled by others wanting your liberation from them? So, yeah, they feel like you don't want relationships, connections, like you're on guard, standoffish with them. You know, you're being very direct. You're kind of repressing some type of hurt from the past. You could have had a long-term relationship that you were in and it hurt. Because that's what a Queen of Swords is and the King of Swords is someone who's been in a long-term relationship, married, but they're feeling a little bit detached from their lover. They're intellectualizing their feelings now. They're repressing feelings and emotions. So they've been hurt before. And that's it. It's usually a divorced king and queen. So that's usually who this the king, the queen of swords is, someone who's been divorced. So they could feel like you've been divorced or you feel like you're still a little bitter, but you're very um, knowledgeable and very understanding of yourself now that you're a person who's uh, persevered. You're very optimistic about the future. You can see great things happening for you and they see that for you as well. They could see you as enterprising in some sort or feel like you're enterprising, but you're just not into... Pushing, moving forward with other people. You may have a, a boundary that's up. You know, that's that's like kind of like keeping people away. Because that's really like the distant feeling that they feel mostly. It's like a distant feeling. But they can, like you radiate love off of you and intuitive abilities off of you. So there's like that vibe of like maybe being a motherly, fatherly figure, a loving, nurturing person, but just really cool and cold to the touch. Not physically, but like, like they know that they got to come correct with you. So it's that type of energy. You know what I mean? Like you're not one. I mean, it's almost like another card I seen where you're not the one to play, but they are. But they were playing a little bit. This one is like nah, not to play with. You know, I'm, I mean, I, I mean, I get things done. This is more like that. Like this is like I'm not here for any bullshit with y'all. I'm here to get things done. So that's how they see you, and they see you as like fated to have a good life, or fated to make your dreams a reality, or make things happen for yourself. Because they, they feel like you're very outgoing and you're very friendly and you're very humanitarian. So they think like you think for the whole or for the large or for a larger system. You know what I mean? Like they think of you as thinking for a larger system or maybe having a bigger goal with everyone in mind. So, yeah, that's how they feel. They feel like you're moving towards that or you're moving, moving, I don't know, to another house. I don't know. Are you? Maybe. Are you? I don't know, it kind of feels like that, like maybe you're moving, like they, they feel like they need to chase you or like they need to like really prove themselves to you. Is that it? Yeah, because like you don't really want them. Or you don't really want them around. Like they like maybe you like be alone. Maybe you like to be a loner or like it's like it's still like 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 it's like a boundary. Like they feel like you have a boundary up because of maybe something that happened in the past. Like you're still holding on to you're carrying the burden from from a past be, be a past before and it could be around beliefs because I was going to say from a past belief so it could be like previous beliefs you know what I mean and it could be like around relationships because the Queen of Swords usually has really strong beliefs around relationships because she's been hurt before she's still repressing them so it could be like that so now you just follow your instincts in terms of like for yourself and like it's not really like a selfish gain or selfishness it's like I just I'm just not open to nobody else right now so it's not even like you want their stuff either you're just like, mm, I'm good. I'm just on my own. I just do what I'm doing for me. So that's how women feel about you. But they feel like you're on your way to breaking generational curses. Like you can create whatever it is that you want to create. You're very abundant in their mind. And that you're very 
um, successful. You know, you're very successful, but you're just a little cold, a little detached, a little hurt still, and that you're not open to new people or new experiences coming into your life. Like you don't want passion in your life. You want, I guess, to, to go forward and be successful of some sort or to like maybe have your own, like you're waiting for something else to come in. Maybe you're waiting for passion to come in, but they feel like you're not open to it. So maybe you want it to come, but you're not open to it. You're not receptive to it. And that's how they feel. Like you're not in your feminine energy. You're not receptive to passion and love and opportunities coming in, though you are giving off the impression that is there, like you like you want that. So I think they're confused with you, but they still want to proceed but I think they're confused with you because they want more than a friendship, but I think they're confused on how to get in there, like how to make it happen. You know what I mean? That's kind of like that. Like they want to, they have the abilities to, but it's like, I think they're kind of like, feel like you're not open to it. Like you don't want to, you're not, you don't need a friend. You don't want a lover. You don't want any of that. You know, you're good. You're good. You sure? Like that's like, that's, that's the kind of vibe. Like they feel like we're here. I'm meant to be here. Like, they feel like they're meant to be in your life or like you're meant to be in their life. So it's like faded. It. You know, that's how they feel like, hey, I'm here. You know, you don't see me. You know, you're not sure. You're unsure. You're a little timid. You know, you don't think we can do this? I think I can. I think we can. So it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that's how they feel. You know what I mean? But they feel like you want to be alone. Like you're like you feel stifled. Like maybe you have a fear of commitment or they feel like you have a fear of commitment. Like being close to people is like, mm. Like, don't do that. So it's kind of like that. That's how they feel about you. So let's give you advice, though. Rainbow, you are a jewel, even though you may not see it. Even in the darkest times, you shine eternally bright. You are surrounded by an aura of love and a pot of gold awaits beyond the horizon. All will clear soon. Trust and continue to follow your dreams. You are eternally blessed. So let's go over signs one more time. You could be a Gemini, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Virgo, a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Well, these could be the women that are around you. Okay. So, Paul Four, that was your reading. Thanks for watching. This is your boy Nuni, and it's Leo in the Third House.